What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to the seven days of packs of hell. <laughs> That's not fucking laughing at me. I can't remember what the bloody name of this series is. Um, but it's basically the, the EA's five years of foot special packs. And we're going to go ahead once again and open all of them whilst we open this epic contract pack. If you want to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, then check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. A very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you will get a discount on your coins. And they have an automated service as well. So you get instant coins. So we pick up the contracts once again. And this is obviously not the packs that we're really interested in at all like i said in the first two episodes um the reason why i open those is because i'm a pack fiend and it's just it's irrelevant to me that i know it's just four contracts in the pack what's important to me is that it's a special pack and i have to open it and that's just the way life is um I, it, like i said in you know the first episode or so like even if they open if they released a pack that is clearly shocking like shocking I would still open it just because I have to. Um, it's just me and me and packs. Really, I have a I have a problem with packs. And if they did have like a an AA style thing for packs, I'd probably have to go to it. Um, but here we go, guys. We're gonna. It's, it takes a while to get into the good packs with this uh, this sort of episode. And uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying these episodes. And if you are, leave a like rating on the video. It's much appreciated. We, of course, if you don't like spoilers, and if you didn't watch episode one, two, and three then look away now or plug your ears or turn a video off and go and watch them um, but we got uh, the first pack opening the best player we got was um, Yaya Torre uh, we also got Vidic and then in the second pack opening we got Inform Godin and the next best player was like Thiago Silva and we also got again uh, Nemanja Vidic and then in the last pack opening we again got Godin in form and that that he's the best player I can remember. We got Perlo as well, but I don't think he's worth too much. And other than that, we didn't get anyone at all worth mentioning. Like it was a really, really bad pack opening. So hopefully this is the pack opening that we get incredible players in, you know, like in forms that aren't Godin and and gold players that are like Robin and, and Ribery and Ronaldo and Zlatan and Messi. Second in form Messi, that's what I want. Um, because it's this is account number four now, and this is five years of foot. This is supposed to be the special packs. This is supposed to be EA saying, here, have everything. And right now, they're giving me fucking nothing. So this is the pack opening for us. Come on. What do we got in this pack? We've got, boom, Jan Vertonghen yet again. That's like the 73rd millionth time I've got him in these few pack openings. Him and uh, who's he? Vidic, I keep getting. There's another person I kept getting loads as well. Um, look at this, 600 coins for these mixed packs. I don't understand why they don't do like um, consumables packs anyway. I know the consumables market is kind of messed up this year because you can store unlimited consumables now opposed to the, the limited amounts of before. And I, I thought it would be cool to have unlimited consumables, right? Because um, it's the bronze contract was the best. Uh, because like last year you could store 50 and I, it used to fill up so quick and because you also had like um, formations you had formations positioning fitness cards morale cards um, all you know there was so much to contracts manager contracts there was so much to keep uh, and to, to store in those 50 spots that you would eat like quickly run out of what you needed to keep um, and it was a pain in the ass so I thought when you got unlimited space for this it would be brilliant I was like you know you could just stack up on some stuff no problem little did I know I would have accounts like on my PlayStation account where I have like the best part of 20,000 items stored in there and it's just it's it's pointless there's no way on earth I'm gonna use 20,000 things in a in a year of FIFA no there's literally just no way um, and I've got several other accounts where I've probably got between every all my accounts I've probably got 40 or 50,000 consumable slots and if you think about it that's if you sold all of those even for minimum price of like one or two hundred coins that's tens of millions of worth of coins of, of stuff just sitting in my club that I'm never really gonna do anything with but when I had when you only had 50 spaces or 60 or 80 or however many it was you were forced to sell things or discard them so you accumulated the coins back so I'm not sure whether I, I totally am happy with um, the unlimited spaces um, I think they should do maybe like 500 spots or something you know like a, a substantial amount but not too much to the point where you can't manage what's in your club you know like I have so many like I don't know um, 
injury cards for knee, like the plus five knee. I've probably got about a thousand of them. Do I need a thousand of them? Do I fuck? I barely get an injury in the first place, let alone a knee injury, and let alone a thousand times. Even if I've played a thousand games, like it's it's ridiculous how many we have. And on top of that, as we get Leighton Baines there, that's not a bad pull. On top of that, um, there's tens of billions of these things on the market anyway. So even if I did need one, it's only going to be 200 coins, maybe 150 if I'm you know vigilant with the with the way I open them, open them with the way I buy. It's going to be cheap as fuck anyway. So um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit crazy having that many. But here we go, guys. Onto the big boy packs. Onto the packs that you all came for. The the 700 FIFA point pack, the 550k packs, and the 1 100k pack is going to be coming to a screen near you. And we get uh, was that Borja Valero. We get Robinho there, Kiesling. It was Valero. Shade you, Rondon and Cleverly. Couple of fitness cards, training cards, modifier, terrible modifier, PSG badge, some crappy little kits, and we're going to discard that. That was a terrible, terrible pack that wasn't worth anything at all. So we've got the 50k packs. Come on, let's get another in form now. Uh, five of these to go, and then that 100,000 coin pack, which is what you guys all came to see. But you're going to have to wait your turn to see that. We've got 550k packs to go first, 250,000 coins worth of packs to go first. Who is the best player we get in this pack? We get Xavi Alonso, the 85 rated Xavi Alonso. That's not a bad pull at all, but that is a bad pack in general. None of them worth more than a thousand coins, which is pretty nuts. The price of players right now as well. Not only was it cheap anyway for most players in the game, apart from the very high end and informs and team of the years, etc. But Players like Xavi Alonso, he's 85 rated, you're getting for discard right now. Discard price, 600 coins for an 85 rated player, that's absolutely crazy. Yes, that's a decent player, Marco Royce. We also get David Villa there, he's worth nothing but I keep him anyway because he's decent. We get Marco Royce and Alaba, that is two very nice players there. And uh, I think Royce, uh, no, uh, I think Yaya Torre is probably the most expensive player we've got, but Royce very close behind. If not, they they might be worth about the same anyway at this stage in FIFA. So that is a decent pull. The, I'd say arguably the best player we've had in, uh, what, four pack openings now. Um, but we're looking for those informs. Like, the lack of informs I've got is crazy considering how many packs I've opened. And we get PK there again. We got him in the last episode. Uh, 86 rated. Now I always think like when I get someone like PK 86 rated, I think is there a sneaky Neymar in there? He's only 84 rated. I'm hoping he's there, but he wasn't. I'll tell you one player that I've rarely seen pack this year and rarely seen in teams this year is Gareth Bale. Like he's just not around at all. I like I, I packed him like two or three times last year when he was a Spurs player. Haven't packed him once. Haven't even seen video. Haven't seen pack reactions of people getting bail and so on and so forth. As we get Vincent Company there, that's a pretty decent pull. Again, he's worth about 20k at this stage. But uh, again, the only decent player in the pack, the only player worth anything, that's for sure. And um, this pack opening is going from bad to worse right now. So we've got the 50k pack, the last one, and then the 100k pack to open. And then that is us done for this episode. So hopefully we can pick up an inform or an exceptionally high rated player like a Ribery or an Ibrahimovic or a Falcao in those, these two packs. And we get Mario Goethe. So we got him before as well, actually. So he's 85 rated. That's pretty decent. But again, the only pretty decent player in the 50k pack, I don't know how much Gerza goes for, I'd, I'd assume because he's a high priority player, maybe about 30,000 coins or so, um, but we're not quite sure. So here we go, the 100,000 coin pack, 2,000 FIFA points, please, I know you've got Messi in here, I know the Messi is in here, come on, please, EA, inform, inform me up, come on. Godin again, fuck off, that is ridiculous. Vidal is there as well. That is fucking bullshit. Like, I'm not even kidding. That is fucking bullshit. Three times in a row we get an inform. And three times in a row it is fucking Godin, the shitty little centre back with the terrible pace. Fuck off. That is bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit, right? I can't, like. I'd rather get just one in form and it not be Godin. But this is the end of the video again, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.